welcome back ladies and gentlemen to an all new episode on titans craft now just a little bit of word for you today i have submitted this pack to curse now i'm waiting for one of the administrators to review the pack see if it's good to go see if i got to make any changes and then i can disseminate it and you guys can play along with me so i will let you know as soon as i find out when this pack has been released so you guys can play along with that said let's go ahead and jump into the game welcome back i am glad you guys are here so let's go through some of the things that i did while i was offline or well while i was not recording so let's just take a quick peek at a few of the things that i've done so i made uh, some upgrades to my tools and by upgrades i mean i made them out of better uh materials so i made out of cobalt and ardite which actually makes it pretty good my uh pickaxe has a durability of 1707 my hammer has a durability of 2742 and i made an excavator too to help me out with that pesky dirt and gravel so now you've seen that i've got the ardite and cobalt i have been to the nether oh i almost forgot something guys i am so sorry probably see this massive torch here <clears throat> Mm, sorry about that folks this massive torch here is by Torchmaster. what it does it prevents mobs from spawning in a certain block radius now if you go into mod options type in torch go to torch master go to configurations so you can set the how far you want the range to be. I have mine set to 512 blocks in all directions. Now, I know that seems like a lot, but I wanna keep these villagers safe for now because I may have plans for them later on. So 512 blocks in all directions, nothing will spawn. Now, I don't know how that works with the guardian temple over here. If you guys didn't know this, one of the reasons I picked this location is there is a guardian temple right here see it I don't know if you guys can see it there there's one right there and I don't see any guardians here so let me make sure difficulties on yeah difficulties on so yeah that was one of the reasons I picked this location because I plan on doing some stuff with this guardian temple later on in the series now let's go ahead and head into the nether real quick I've also placed the torch in there because I don't like mobs I don't like gas more or less there we go we can hear it I might put a muffler down. There we go. There we go. We got our little portal right here. Let's go ahead and head inside. There we go. Nothing special about it. I have a villager, multiple villagers in here. Well, wow. okay, guys. Um. Yeah, you guys have fun here. So hopefully this torch that I put down will help prevent mobs from spawning. I think I put it, yep, right there. Oh, let me get that now. Ooh, this pickaxe is too strong. There we go, put that back. Yeah, I'm gonna have to put a muffler down. Let's see, is that in here? Let's see, maybe I can make one of those. Yes, we're gonna put a sound muffler down. I will do that off camera. So let's go ahead and head back home. Five. Yes, if you didn't know this, if you're playing this pack, if you set a home, do slash set home wherever your uh wherever your base is at. Oh, that is loud. Let me turn that down. Sorry about that, folks. Let's turn that most master volume down. There we go. Ooh, still kind of loud. Hmm. There we go. Okay, like I was saying, if you do slash set home, then anytime you want to go back within a two minute time frame, because I think there's a cooldown for it. Let's see. Yeah, oh, there's a five minute. Yes, five minute cooldown. You can do slash home. Now, with that said, probably wondering what I'm going to do today. And I'll give you a hint. We are going to head to another dimension. This dimension is really great for getting resources. 
So let's make a few things. And I will walk you guys through how to get to this dimension. There we go. <clears throat> let's make some stone bricks. We need 14. Oh, well, okay. Well, we definitely got what we need out of there. Put these up, put these up. Let's grab some cobblestone. And grab some sticks. There we go. Okay, first we're going to need to make a flint and steel. There we go. Flint and steel check. And now we need a stone pickaxe. Check. Now we're going to go to... There we go. Portal. We are going to head to the mining dimension. So... I still need another piece of stone. One more piece of stone. Where'd you go, stone? I swore. Up oh, there it is. There we go. I think I can use bricks for it. But that's okay. So let's go ahead and let's make this uh, mining multi tool first. There we go. And now we're going to put these 14 in here with this. And we're going to turn them all into portal frames. Now, let's go find a place that we want to have our portal. Hmm. Let's utilize this house over here. I've already cleared it out. So it's good to go. We just need to get rid of that right there. That right there. And get rid of these three at the bottom. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and throw these down. Now, it does require you, I believe, to have the full frame. So you can't skimp on resources. Now, we're going to click on it. There we go. Uh, only part of There it goes. Let's grab some food. Um, I guess I got some bread right here. Normally we have some carrots in there, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and eat this bread. And let's, you gotta sneak through it. Come on. Sneak. And enter. Come on. It's acting a little laggy for some reason. There it goes. Sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. But that is okay. And now we are in the mining world, and apparently we're still in another village. Isn't that just some good luck? Ooh. Blacksmith, you know what that means. Goodies. Let's go get some goodies. Let's see what we got here. We have some energized by metal gears, stone gears, and wooden gears, and some more armor and other goodies. There we go. And let's just get rid of this. Probably should have used the axe, but that's okay. Let's see what else we have in this village. I see we have this over here, the actual additions house. Let's see what we got inside. Ooh, I like these crates. They're good for moving stuff. Let's see what else we got. Anything good in these? Got some black quartz. Let's see what do we got up here? See how much just get in there. Ah, yes. Now we're gonna be making uh, we're gonna get into actual additions, just not right away. Oopsie. There we go. Sort that out. Now eh, we got a few things. Okay. Oh, there we go. Shady merchant. Oh. Nope. Sorry, guy. Let's see what else do we got here. No, just standard village. Nothing, uh, nothing too big. Okay. Well, that is awesome. We got a village right there. But the reason I came here was not to raid the village. The reason I came here is this is the mining dimension. This is where we're going to set up our mine. So we can start getting a whole bunch of goodies 
because I have big plans, which takes a lot of materials to do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to base and I am going to start gathering resources to move on to phase two. So be right back, folks. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So while we were away, I took the liberty of crafting this atomic reconstructor and this coal generator. Now, I'm going to pull those up for you real quick so you can see exactly what the recipe entailed for them. It wasn't too much. Just an iron casing, which doesn't really take too many items. And that iron casing with some redstone and iron makes your atomic reconstructor. Now, for the coal generator, it's even easier. It's the same iron casing with some coal, char coal or charcoal and some cobblestone. And there you go. And you're probably wondering, well, why do I need it? Well, it's for these. So now, these right here are going to be crucial in getting into actual additions. So let's go ahead and we're just going to toss that on the floor right there. Hit this button. Boom! We now have a void crystal block. Now we're going to use that void crystal block. Oh, looks like I got some extra ones right here. We're going to use that void crystal block to make some crates this is the one that i want the large crystal now this right here requires the power and it's a whole setup so i'm not gonna get into it. we're gonna get into a medium crate here which requires a small crate and yeah one small crate to make a medium crate with some planks and the block so let's get some wood out here probably yeah, that's probably all we're gonna need I think I have some wood casing somewhere. Let's see. Yes, right there. So let's go ahead and let's make this. First, let's make some chests. Let's make eight of them. Why not? There we go. Okay, we're going to make... Oh, do I not have any planks on me? I do not. Okay, let's get some planks. There we go. And now we've got two of these. Now we're going to turn those into these. Boom, got two of them. Now these are going to be handy once I get down to the mining world. Because what we can do is we can place our items inside of here. So we can mine longer without having to come back to empty out our inventory. But the problem is, once you put something in here, let's say we put that in here, we'll break this, it dumps the items. So, there is a way around that. We need to make these crate keepers. Now, this just takes some wood planks, some iron, and some uh, the black quartz. Which I have some black quartz right here. Here we go. I got 40 of them. So, let's go ahead and we're going to make some of these. Chest to storage, chest to medium. Oh, we can make that a medium to large, but it takes a large. Hmm. Small to medium, which takes a medium. That doesn't really make any sense, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get some iron out, which I thought I had in my inventory. I am ill prepared, or I used it already. There we go. Let's get some of these. And bada bing, we now have a few of these. So what we're going to do is we're just going to break that now because I don't want to use them. We're going to put it in our mining bag, which our mining bag is a nice little upgraded diamond backpack. So we can hold a lot of materials in there. Okay, let's empty out our inventory. Because I am notoriously bad for inventory management. There we go. Eventually we're going to get into refined storage. Once I hammer out the power supply. Once I figure out how we're going to do it. Come on. There we go. Sort. No, don't get in my inventory, Mr. Nugget. Okay. Now let's put that in the tool bag. Put that in the tool bag and now we're gonna head to the mining world we've got to shut the door there we go
And here we go. And here we go. We're in the mining world. And it looks like I froze there for a moment. There we go. Okay. So, I dug a big hole going all the way down. There we go. So, let's just climb down here if I can get to the ladder. There we go. And we're going to head down to our new strip mine. Now, this mine, uh, or this world here, will eventually get stripped pretty good once I get a... Um, uh, quarry going but for now we're gonna have to do it by hand as you see I started uh, digging this out and we don't have to worry too much about lighting here because the mobs from what I'm tracking do not spawn in the mining world so that is good news for us so with this we can just mine all we want pick up the materials that we want collect them up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set these down over here there we go go we're gonna put them right here let's get those things out we're gonna put two in each there and now I can load cobblestone in the one and ores that we get in the other and then I have overflow for this mining bag so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to clear out a large portion of this mine and then I will be right back. We'll look at the goodies that we get. See ya. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So I've done a little bit of mining, a little bit of clearing out. Not much, just a little bit. But this is what I've ended up so far. I did find a whole bunch of uh, lava, so decided to stockpile up on some obsidian while I was there and a whole bunch of cobblestone so now what we're going to do is we're going to take all these back i'm going to start looking into storage situations so we can uh, be a little bit better organized just for the time being so let me get this back to the base and uh i'll meet you when i get there and we're back at the base ladies and gentlemen now we've got to do something about this storage so I think what we're going to get into very temporarily for a storage situation is we're going to do modular storage. It's a uh, made by RF Tools. It's actually a very good uh, mod to get into, which we're going to be doing a lot with RF Tools this season. So let's just, uh, just cut right into it. And we're also going to make one of these two. We're going to make a quantum storage so we can be able to put all of our uh, cobblestone away in one location so let's go ahead and get some of the stuff we need I'm gonna build this with you guys live here on camera and uh, let's grab some gold let's grab these we're gonna need some iron I believe we're gonna need I already grabbed some quartz let's see what else are we gonna need we're gonna need some wood some lapis I believe that's up here lapis grab some wood Let's make a few chests. We're going to need quite a few chests. So let's make that right there, just for now. 12 chests to start off with. Okay, we're going to need to make some gold nuggets, so let's do that. Oh, did I not break it down? No, I did not. Let's break down some of this iron. There we go. Okay, we got one machine frame. That's all we're going to make for right now. If we need more room for storage, we will do that. Ah, oh, redstone. How could I have forgot redstone? Okay. And there we go. So we got everything we need here. So now we have our modular storage. Let's just go ahead and get rid of one of this furnace for now that had glass in it. I knew that. Really, I didn't, but that's okay. Now, we're going to need a storage module. So we're going to start off here with Tier 1. Tier 1, I believe, holds 100 stacks of items. And then it goes up from Tier 2, 200, and then Tier 3 holds 300 stacks. Okay, so let's start here. We're going to make one of these. We'll go here. We're going to make one of these. And this is where I need to break down some of the, make some of this quartz in the blocks 
There we go. And I still got gold blocks. Awesome. Oop, need redstone block. And boom. We now have a tier three module. So let's just go ahead and just dump everything into here. Let's sort it so we can see it better. There we go. Let's just dump everything we have into here. There we go. This might actually take a minute, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to transfer everything in here and I will be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So now we have all of that, except for uh, we put our ores up in here that we still need to process and the obsidian up there. And then we still got all this cobble that we need to do something with. So we are going to do that. So we're going to make quantum storage. So let's go up in here. Let's start making a few different things. Here we go. We're going to just toss one of these in here and that should be as easy as just clicking on a few different things okay that's that and we should have plenty of planks so we're gonna make one of those go back here we're gonna make one of those okay there we go now we're gonna make a diamond one there we go. We got the diamond one, and now we just need to do that. And boom, we now have a quantum storage. Now, let me find out what I do with my... There it is. Whew. Yeah, I didn't want to lose that. That's where I put all my, my goodies. There we go. Let's knock out this wall. Put that right there. Open it up. And now we are going to transfer all of this cobblestone into here and we're going to see just how much cobblestone we have so let me transfer this over and i'll be right back folks and there we go folks we got all the cobblestone inside this quantum storage so we've got 15,143 cobblestones still zero percent full this looks like it will hold Wow, that's a lot. 2,147,483,647 blocks. That is a lot. Which I don't think we'll... Uh, I don't know if we'll get that close unless we mine out the entire mining dimension. We might be able to get a little bit closer to fill these up. But one of the other things that we can do... Um, let's go back to... Okay, type. Here we go. Storage. Once we, uh, here we go. Once we get our refined storage network going, we can take the quantum storage that we have here, and then we can turn it into a disk drive and put that inside of our quantum storage. Now, let's get into, I'm sorry, quantum storage, our refined storage. Refi, here we go. So we're probably going to get into this, this get into this next episode. I want to go collect a few more resources, smelt down a lot of this stuff that we have because this is uh very intensive on how much stuff it actually takes to make this. I got to get a lot of silicon. Um so yeah, we'll probably get into this next episode and we're also going to have to figure out what we're going to do for a power supply. Now, I could just do regular sterling generator and just keep pumping it full of coal or lava. But I think I want to go a little bit more green. I think this season, I am going to go into... Oh, if I can spell, environmental tech. They have these... Uh, where are you at? Solar... Yeah, they're here somewhere. Let's see. Nano beacon. Void miner. Here we go. Solar array. So we can get into this. Um, oof. I haven't seen what they've done with that. How do I make that? Hmm. I wonder if they still have the book. I'm going to have to do a little bit of 
digging into this to figure out exactly uh, how this mod has changed. I remember playing it in 1.10. I haven't really played with it in 1.12.2. So I'm going to do some research into this after uh, when I get off of here, we'll get done recording. And that will probably be what we do to uh, for a power supply. There's also a few other things that we can do, if I'm not mistaken. There is a water mill or water wheel in here. Yes. We can get into this. We got plenty of water here. So we could uh we could make a little water water wheel out here somewhere. Just use some green natural resources before we start uh having a big factory out just pumping out all that carbon dioxide <laughs> now nah, i'm just messing around so i think that's probably gonna do it for today guys we've gotten uh, a lot of resources we did some mining we got us a little bit of simple storage here and uh we touched a little bit on uh actual additions but we'll get more into each mod as we get going like i was saying earlier this mod pack sh hopefully will be out soon on the curse launcher as soon as it is i will make sure to let you guys know so you guys can join uh, join along with join along with me i will also put out the seed so if you guys want to build in this area then you know you guys can feel like or feel free to do such uh, once again thank you folks for joining me on this adventure this is my first mod pack that i've created and my first solo series that I'm putting out on my own. So, if you like what you see here, please leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, tell everyone you know about this mod pack, tell everyone you know about this YouTube page, and this series. The more viewers I can get, the better. So, thanks folks once again, and I can't wait until next time. See ya!